Hey now, welcome back to Lone Star Mini Restoration. Today's episode is about the pickup trim. So here I am sitting inside my mini pickup and I'm just starting to look over everything. Uh, I am so thankful I have this guy. Um, it does fill a dream. And uh, but now and I'm now leaning towards wanting to keep the, the pickup all original or as original as possible. So what I'm going to do in this episode is I'm going to go around the truck and I am going to point out things that I've noticed. I may have missed a whole lot and I would love feedback uh, because there's a lot that I don't know. Uh, but I'm going to go around and point out things that I've noticed about the trim itself and whether or not I need to change it. Now, I will admit there's a few things. I say I'm going to keep it all original. There's a few things that I'll probably change out that will not be original, and I'll point those out. But uh, let's start with going around the truck. Okay, right off the bat, um, the grill itself. The grill itself, I don't know that it represents the original configuration. I know that this this particular grill is new. Um, however, I've noticed a difference. The original uh, grill was, and, I, and I'll pop up a picture up here to show you the difference, but the original grill had another line around it. It looked like this one has more of a recess around the perimeter. I don't know if my finger's pointing correctly, but around the perimeter, this one has more of a recess where the original was not as recessed, I don't believe. And, it, and there, is a, there is a slight difference, and I'm going to point that out with a picture. So while this is new, I'm probably going to keep this for now, but I may at some point, whenever I, I can, I may order. I asked Matt Green where he got his grill from because that's the grill that I think looks more original, and he said that he got it from M Machine. So uh, I will probably be contacting them at some point Point in the future to order one just so that I have it available. The other thing about the front end, now I took the bonnet badge off. You know, you can see the holes there. There's more holes than I, maybe there should be, I don't know. But I took the bonnet badge off because I was going to put another Leland, or sorry, excuse me, Leyland badge on there. Um, however, uh, I don't know now. I've got to, honestly, I have to figure out whether this is a Morris pickup or an Austin pickup because my paperwork says Austin Morris. So I'm a little confused with that. Um, once I find out, I may have to order the heritage certificate. And once I find that out, um, I will either put a Morris badge or a Austin badge over and above the, the Leyland badge. Um, so I don't know about that yet. That's up in the air. But okay, so that's the bonnet badge. The other thing that I've noticed here is this has a solid bumper, which is good. But after, I think that after MK1 um, manufacturing, they started giving the overriders. So I will probably put overriders on this for sure um, and give it that more authentic look. The lights are typical, that's fine, all that's good, uh, windshield wipers, all that. So, all right, so let's go to the back of the Mini. All right, so with the back of the pickup, most of this is pretty good. At some point, I may want to replace the tailgate. There's some dents and things, but that's, you know, that's neither here nor there. Um, I'm going to keep it the way it is for now. Uh, the, the bumpers on the MK1 pickup, they used to be full width from left side to right side. Um, however, I think around 1967, maybe 69, they uh, went to the van style bumpers where it's split only on the left and only on the right. So for my year pickup, this is accurate as far as the bumpers go um, because my even though my license plate is up there and not down there like the van is uh, between the bumpers, this is accurate. So I'll keep those bumpers, that's fine. Uh, the only thing that's not accurate here is the taillights. Uh, the taillights, those taillights are for a van. Now I like them, but well, do I want to make it more original? Uh, the 
And this is where it gets really confusing. And I would welcome anybody that has insider knowledge on this because I cannot determine it. I know that up until 1978, this is a 1980 model. So 1978, they used the Lucas L558. And I'll pop up a picture here to show you what that is. And it was used up until 1978. Um, so what did they do after that? I'm not quite sure. I've seen that some people use a light uh, Britex 9021, and here's a picture of that. Um, I've seen these used all over on the pickups. In fact, I've seen them upside down. I've seen where the amber was on top. I've also seen them flipped where the red was on the top and the amber was on the bottom. You know, it varies. So what should be much what should be my taillights i don't know i really like the look of the um, lucas l558 but holy crap these things are kind of expensive um a little bit hard to find not so hard but um so i don't know what i'm going to do here uh, if i'm going to keep these or not but anyhow everything else looks you know pretty good pretty normal so let me show you a little a few features about the tailgate All right, so one of the things, as you can see, I've got a chain that uh, holds the tailgate up. Well, my friend uh, sent me these. He found these, and uh, uh, he sent me these. These are the hinge points that get mounted. Uh, let's see, that's the, no, this is the right side. So this it basically um, holds the gate up, and I can get rid of that chain. But the bolt the bolt holes are already in the panel and the bolt holes are already in the gate so this will be an easy uh, modification to put in the only thing is i'll probably want to uh, paint them uh, to match the body color so but i'm going to wait to do that because there's a chance that i may change the body color um, there's also a pin my friend sent me a pin this pin is really to support the uh, gate when you close the gate this locks it basically in a hole i've got the pin on that side and he gave me the pin to go on this side. So that's another good thing. All right, so here is one of my curiosities. Uh, I asked my friend to remove the hubcaps um, for shipping because I'm told and I've read that they, these things are items that tend to disappear on a ship. Um, and you know sometimes they're not worth the hassle to try to get reimbursement for them. So he mailed them to me along with the hinge bracket and a few other items and so I'm going to polish these up but what I don't know and I cannot verify this style of hubcap every single picture that I have seen um, has uh, the wheels with the with with has the wheels with just the center hubcap and so I don't know what's accurate here one of the first things I do is I'm going to have these wheels refinished um, probably to a silver, I think, is the color that they should be. I don't know if that, that looks like primer gray, but uh, I'm going to have them refinished. And then I've got to figure out if anybody knows for a 1980 pickup what hubcaps should be on this, I would love to know. Um, yeah, would greatly appreciate that. Uh, side mirror. This particular side mirror looks, actually I love it. I, I, I love this guy. Um, it looks accurate. Of course, right now it's bolted in to the glass, to the, uh, the, the window catch. Um, everything that I've read says that it should be mounted up on the wing. So what I'm gonna do there, I don't know. I may go up there. But the other thing is, these um, were early that I can tell were, were painted matte black. Um, of course, this one's chrome and it's beautiful. Will I keep it chrome or paint it matte black? Will I move it? I don't know. Uh, but that's just one detail difference that I've noticed. Going into the car now, um, this cavity here is behind the driver's seat. Um, and it's below this is where the tire the spare tire is supposed to go now my friend found this bracket for me and he cut it off um, 
what it, wherever it was on. So I'm basically going to salvage this bracket. It appears that that's the threaded hole right there, which tells me now this bracket is supposed to go somewhere like, let's say right there, right? That bracket's supposed to go somewhere in that vicinity. Um, and then it has a strap that goes inside, goes in, it comes up and it goes over the tire. So it's like a Z right and it holds the tire from sliding and then that threaded hole it looked like there was a knob that screwed down to hold the bracket in that in that bracket that hold, that hold the z in that bracket so wow am i going to be able to source that i have no idea um if anybody has any information on that or has one available uh, i would love to talk to you but this is where it goes. Now, the carpet originally, I believe, was um, in the MK1 models. There was no carpet. It was rubber. I think they had, like, rubber mats. Um, and then, in fact, I think all of them had rubber mats. And th But then it was said that some of them had, like, a felt lining underneath. I don't know. This one has nice black carpet with a foam padding. So I will probably keep that. Um, I don't know that I'll change that at all, um, but that's that's something that I'll probably keep um, interior. But that bracket, I would love to find out the rest of it, uh, the the screw down piece, and then the bracket that holds the spare. And of course, I've got to find a spare tire. I've got to get that. The seats themselves um, here are black, and they're beautifully black. I mean, they're well done. They they're they're redone. Um, the original MK1s had tan interior, um, and later on they changed it, I think for the MK2s and onward, they changed the seats to a color called Arizona Beige. Um, and with that, they used, let me see this way, with that they put in cardboard lined uh, door cards that were the same color. So if you had tan seats, you had tan cards or if you had Arizona beige you had Arizona here they've given me black and they're beautiful um, will I change the color I don't know um, probably not I kind of like the black so we shall see about that um, as far as these catches uh, I actually have um, the uh, the chrome a set of the chrome so I will I may replace them here. I don't know. I only have one set So I don't know if I'll replace them here or on my Cooper uh, probably on my Cooper. We'll see But okay, so here This this all looks per spec. I mean this was black after at some point um, They made all of this black uh, And so this looks good. So I'll, I, I will want to refinish this make that all nicer now these switches Again, this is a 1980 car, so these switches may be accurate, um, but it's not the MK1, MK2 look, you know, with the with the toggle style switches. So I don't know what I'm going to do here. I'll definitely refinish that to a black, a nice clean black. But what I'm going to do with the switches, I don't know. The heater is just a recirculatory type heater. Um, what I'm going to do there, I don't know. The other thing, and this thing's kind of big to me, um, because I don't know. This steering wheel, I don't know that this steering wheel is the right steering wheel for my model. Um, the only pictures that I can find are a steering wheel, and I'll pop up a picture. It looks like a, this looks like a Frisbee. Instead of a, a T, this looks more like a Frisbee. Um, this one says Mini, which is nice, because here, here in Texas, nobody will know what this car is. Um, you know, they're going to look all over it, trying to figure out what the heck it is, and that may clue them in. Um, let's see. Lights? I have an interior light. Is this the correct location, is my question. I believe the original lights uh, were up on the roof. Um, this one is located here, and this one does work. Uh, it's beautiful. Very nice. Will I leave it there? I don't know. I just have to find out more about that one. Um, here I've taken off the the, ba the the backboard. It's down here at my feet. But I was just looking at the, the car itself because um, there's going to be a little cleanup. As far as the speedometer, um, it looks pretty original with the black uh, 
face or the black background so I'll probably just you know take off the casing take all this off clean it up really well I don't know how if I can find a way or somebody that does you know like chrome chrome work I may have this resurfaced or re-chromed uh, ashtray I would love to find I haven't even started yet but I, I would like to find the appropriate style ashtray um, to put in there I don't smoke but just to have it you know because it's going to be all original or as, as original as I can now going straight up this bet this puppy has a sunroof and of course a headliner the headliner is going to be difficult because of the sunroof and so I may have to have somebody do that but here let me step out so the sunroof is not a rig factory original um, I understand a lot of people put it in, what, in the 70s out of fat or whatever. Um, so I don't know what I want to do with that. I would actually like to take it out, but I don't even know if that's feasible. I would have to have a new top and uh, welding. Any, I don't know. I, of course, anything metal is feasible, right? But it's a matter of getting the metal. It's a matter of uh, my welding skills and all the above. Uh, but... So, I don't know, there's a lot of little things that I would like to clean up. Um, but that's basically the trim package for this guy. Uh, wheels are a big thing. I don't know with, by, if, if it turns out that I need different hubcaps, do I need different wheels to, to hold those hubcaps? I don't know. I will, again, I'll get overriders for the front bumper. Um, I'll have to find out about the bonnet badge and what exactly I need. I love the side mirrors. Whether they stay there or not, I don't know. Um, here are, and I'm going to polish some of these up today. These are the hubcaps that I have. Some of them are kind of bent up, and but I'm going to polish them all, all the same. Get those nice and pretty. Oh, this was uh, one of the things that I've noticed. I mean, this is the right uh, gas cap petrol fuel cap whatever you want to call it but typically out of the factory those things were painted to match the body color that one's chrome will i paint it to match the body color i don't know we shall see okay so this is the book that was recommended to me um i pretty much bought it without question because i didn't have it uh, so it came in wonderfully quick and it covers uh, the the air here and it's not quite an air but MK1 and MK2. That confused the heck out of me because this really only talks up until like 1969 or something like that. Anything beyond that? I mean, a lot of times it'll say um, MK2 on or something like that. But for the most part, it doesn't specifically talk to the pickup let's say in 1975, much less in 1980. It does not give specifics. It only gives specifics for uh, MK1 and the, the original MK2. It is helpful, it does, it does provide a little bit of information, but it seems like the mini pickup, there's less information out there or available. It's in, it's in everybody's head across, around the world. People know these stuff, um, but I can't find it in a book. I can't find it online. I just can't find the information. So um, I would love to, to, if anybody has insight, you know, true knowledge to what the, uh, I've had some help via the International Mini Pickup uh, Facebook page. Um, I've got the Mini Pickup International, I think is what it is, um, via Facebook. Wonderful people on there. They've already started answering some of my questions and wonderfully helpful. Thank you. Um, the guy, in fact, this, this book was re recommended from a guy on that site, um, and I just bought it. And, and it is helpful, but it doesn't cover all the details that I need. In fact, what, for starters, the wheels. I mean, it does not touch on every brochure that I've looked at, whether it was early brochure or later brochure, they show the center hubcaps. Um, they don't show this, the hubcaps that I have. So what I have, is it accurate? Maybe so. Um, I just cannot find documentation that says that. But so right now I'm trying to figure out the trim. If anybody has any details, any information, heck, if you have parts that you want to sell, get rid of, uh, I'm all ears. Um, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Uh, any input, greatly appreciated.
by just now.